Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Let other also join the class, beta. They do depends on other organism for their food, like maybe plant or animal are called as or is called as heterotrophic nutrition, right? Is it everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. So all animals and all like no non-photosynthetic plants, like we have a scuta plant, it is non-photosynthetic. Okay. Are classified as heterotrophs since they are unable to prepare their own food. Okay. So they are heterotrophs. So these organism this you know, resort on other various forms of the nutrition. Say so they do perform different types of nutrition. Like we have, uh, like in heterotrophic, we have saprophytic. Okay. We have parasitic. We have different types of nutrition again. Holozoic nutrition we have. Okay. We will discuss one by one. Hence, an ecological, you know, perspective, heterotrophs are the always secondary or tertiary consumer in the food chain, right? Food chain is the directly interdependency of one organism over other is called as food chain of an ecosystem. Human and other vertebrates rely on converting organic solid or liquid food into the energy, right? Generally, we used to take food from the plant or from animal, okay? And yeah. from that, we are going to have our energy requirement, right? Other organisms such as fungi, they rely on the converting dead organic matter. Okay, they are called as saprophytes for their nutrient. These heterotrophs break down the complex food into the readily, uh, like a unusable constituent. Oh, sorry, usable constituent because they can again be reused by the plant or animals. Right, everyone? Is it? Yes, sir. So, repeat it once again. Uh, the animals or organisms which can't prepare their own food uh, and depend on the others are called as heterotrophs. heterotrophs. And uh, they are always uh, tertiary consumers in the food chain. And they depend on other substances, other, other kind of substances for their energy. Like fungi rely on dead organisms for food. Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, beta. Sir, so can we call the lice in our hair or ticks in animals uh, which come as heterotrophs? Yes, they are also heterotrophs, but they are parasitic in nature because they totally depend on host body for their nutrition. Okay. So, like there okay. are different types in heterotrophs? Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. yes, different types of heterotrophs. Yes. Okay. okay. Even in parasitic, we have endoparasite and ectoparasite, like leech, head louse, they are ectoparasite because they do consume food material from outside the body, like. Uh, on the surface of the organism, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, but, so we can say even mosquito is parasitic. Yes, yes. Mosquito, it is ectoparasite, yes. But uh, like tapworm, it is hookworm. They used to grow inside the intestine, so they are endoparasites. Okay, sir. Okay? Yes. Ah, well, okay. Oh. So amoeba feeds by the holozoic mode of nutrition. That means it involves with five steps: ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion or ingestion. You can say the angle food particles using pseudopodia, as we already discussed pseudopodia. Now the process is called a bit of phagocytosis. That process engulfing of the food by the amoeba with the help of pseudopodia is called as phagocytosis. The ingle food get enclosed in a. Then it is also not. Yes. Okay. The ingle food get enclosed in a food vacuole 
as the food vacuole passes through the cytoplasm it digest and absorption even assimilation takes place simultaneously when food vacuoles open okay the outside ejection of the undigested food takes place so by single cell all the five steps is been completed by the amoeba okay so here we have all the five steps in first step it says ingestion in second step it says digestion and in third step it says assimilation see nutrients are been spreading all over the cell and then again a removal of that waste out from the body is called as ingestion okay so ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ingestion are the five steps of holozoic nutrition right Okay, let complete paramecium also, and then human nutrition will complete like by next class. So paramecium also exhibit the halozoic nutrition, beta same. However, they have the cilia with the help of the ingal food through the oral grooves. Okay, so here we have like a different part. It is given over here. The food vacuoles is created, including the food inside it. It moves through the cytoplasm. and process is called as cyclosis where food is being absorbed then it is being uh, like uh, digested absorbed and assimilated all over the cell sir where so, is the oval group sir over over here beta over here okay. okay yes then where okay the food digested in the food vacuoles is absorbed by the cytoplasm undigested food is given out by the tiny pores called anal pore okay and from anal pore it is being removed out from the body or it is called as cytopage cytopage okay so this is the way how amoeba sorry paramecium also perform the more or less similar mode of nutrition okay so this is all about nutrition in amoeba and paramecium is in unicellular organisms okay everyone so human nutrition we will start by the next class na huh? yes sir okay okay, okay beta so i am as not really feeling well as i am having headache okay okay sir okay sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir bye thank you thank you beta thank you goodbye thank you sir bye sir Nitishri, yes sir. Ah, uh, but I am having like a headache. Uh, so we'll leave the class little early today. Oh, okay, sir. Take care. Bye. Uh, actually, no. I am using a whole day laptop only. I am having four class online, and then other works on laptop only. So that's why I am like due to excessive use of laptop and mobile screen, I am having headache. Oh okay sir take care thank yeah. you bye yeah thank you bye bye